In this video, we are going to talk about setting up users in the mobile app and setting security and basic preferences. Before you can set up a user in the mobile app, they must first be an employee in Total Office Manager, and they must also be a user in Total Office Manager. So to create a user, you would click Company, User List. Here's a list of our users. Right-click, New. You will only see a list of employees that are not already users. You will need to enter a mobile user ID and a password. They do not need... Better put in a password, right? All right, let's put a password in so it'll let me keep talking. They do not need permissions for Total Office Manager. These are desktop permissions. They don't need any of these. You just simply click Next and Finish. Now that you've done that, they can use the mobile app. Here's the mobile app. The very first time you install the app, there will be no users set up. Even though you have the potential to set up users, there won't be any set up. Only the administrator account will be set up. So you will want to type in administrator, that full word, and enter the password for the Total Office Manager administrator. Total Office Manager has a built-in administrator account as well. And at some point, someone within your company set that password. We would not know that password. We at Aptora would not know that password. Log in. Now, the reason why you do this is because there are no other users in the mobile app at this point when you first start using it. Click More. Security, User Permissions. You'll be taken to a list of users. Now, yours would be empty if you're using this for the first time. And as you put these users in Total Office Manager, they'll appear in this list. Okay, so we already have people in our list because I've set up not only the one that you saw me set up, but I've set up everybody. Let's double-click on a user and we are taken into their permissions. The first setting that I want to call your attention to allows this person to set up other users and establish their security. That setting is right here. It says login required to use mobile. Check that box. That allows a person to log in and there's also a permission to let this user establish other people's security. Now, if you want to search through these, because as you can see, there's a lot of them, then you can click Control F, depending on your browser or your mobile app, Control F, and you'll be able to search for those. Now, I'm looking for this one, but just to show you how that works, that way you can find a certain word that you're looking for. Security, change password. This would allow them to change their password. This security user permissions would allow them to get into a user's permission. So this one, you would want to check for anyone who is going to be allowed to set up mobile users. And maybe that's you. So you want to give yourself permission to log in, of course, and we did that earlier, and we want to give someone permission to set user permissions. Once you do that, you would then no longer need to log in as the administrator. You only log in as administrator once, and once you have user permissions, 
then you would log in as you, assuming that you're the person doing this, and you would be able to set up users. So we logged in as the admin. We will say for the sake of discussion that we are this person. We would give ourselves various permissions to use the software, including setting up other users. There are a lot of settings, preferences, and so forth in here. There's no way that I could explain all of them. What I would want to call your attention to are any settings that have an asterisk next to them. Use those with caution, like giving people permission to set permissions or email setup or whatever. So if it has an asterisk next to it, then you want to use those with caution. Just pay particular attention to those. The best way to learn what all these settings do is to use the software. As you use the software, you'll understand what chat analytics is and does and, and so forth. There'd be no practical way to explain every one of these. Again, as you use the software, it'll become more apparent what display customer balances on the customer and list means, for example. I guess that one's pretty self-explanatory. I will point out a few that I think are important. Down at the bottom, or towards the bottom, we have timesheet permissions and settings. Allow employee selection on the timesheet. This would allow this person the ability to enter timesheets for other employees. Otherwise, they would only be able to enter their own timesheet. Another couple of settings that I should mention is only display one work order at a time. That would cause this user to only see one work order per day. When they complete the work order, they would see another one and another one. Assuming that they have multiple work orders, they would only see a, their next work order when they mark their existing one as complete. In addition to that, you might want to show them their next work order after today. So for example, if today were Monday, they would see Tuesday's first work order. If it was Friday, they might see Monday's first work order. So it's not the next day necessarily, it's the next day that they have a work order, no matter how far in the future that might be. Otherwise, most of these settings are pretty self-explanatory. You are establishing their ability to view a list, to edit a record, to add a record, to delete a record, which is rare in the app, and also to view a record. Most of these lists are fairly harmless. In other words, you're not really giving them access to anything that's real sensitive, but you decide. You read through there. You want to pay attention to what you're allowing people to edit and add. Our recommendation is to keep the permissions simple at first so you don't overwhelm the user. Once you have set these permissions, you're ready to hit save. Before I do that, though, another option I have is I can pick from another person, like another installer, another service tech, another accounting person, whatever. Someone who would have the same permissions or very close. I can pick one of those users and click copy, and it copies over all of their permissions and settings. When you're ready, hit save and you're ready to go back home. One more thing I should mention while we're in here is the ability to establish what the user sees when they log in. Logging in as admin does not show me very much because I'm admin. We did not intend for an admin to use the software 
on a daily basis for work orders, invoicing, etc. So there's not much to look at. Let's log out. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. And let's log back in as a user. This is your home screen. And right now, it's pretty darn busy. I mean, there's a lot to look at, but you don't have to give them this much to look at. This might be overwhelming. Maybe you don't want them to see their calendar, timesheet entries, appointments, things like that. So you can reduce what they see. To do that, you would click the hamburger menu, and that's what they call it, and go to more, or pardon me, go to display settings here. We actually move that or copied that here so it was easier to get to. Click Display Settings. This page allows you to decide what you'll see on the home page. Before I go in there, as long as I'm here, this gives you the ability to limit search results. When you search for an item or a customer, you might not want to see 500 options. So that limits your search results. You can hide the bill to address on work orders, invoices, and customers if you want to. The reason why we did that is users have reported driving to the bill to address by accident, realizing that they weren't going to the work address. So we've added the ability to hide the bill to address because you may not need to know that. Technicians may not need to know that. And why confuse them? Here's what I was looking for, a customized home. This gives you the ability to simply check a box, yes or no, whether or not you want to see it. Now, you will have to have permission to see these things. Just because it says yes doesn't mean that you will see my appointments, my employee leads. If you have permission to see these, you can turn that off if you want to. And by the way, you can grant permission to get to this page too. So that way you can establish these settings and keep the average user out of these settings. All right, so once you've established that, click the Save button. You can go back home. More settings to get you started. Let's go back to More. And notice when I click more, I'm going to see a few more things because I'm not the admin, I'm not the administrator, I'm a user. So the, again, the administrator's options are somewhat limited. Let's go into settings. Here is where we can set up a lot of things for each user such as how an invoice looks. Let's click an invoice just to give you an example. You have a lot of options here. You can decide what template you want to use. You can decide what you want to call it. You want, do you want to call it an invoice? You can have your own terms, conditions, your own footer. You can decide if you want to show your service agreement savings. Do you want a button to allow the customer to approve or decline repairs on a line item basis? Do you want to hide sales tax, etc.? So there's quite a bit of, of options here for you to go through. Once you establish these, you have the ability to copy those settings to all users. Copy report type up here, say yes. And copy title terms and footer to all users, you might say yes. So as you make these settings and switch that feature on, when you hit the save button, all of these settings get copied to every user. You'll notice there's a lot of other settings that we could talk about. We won't get into them in this video, but I want to make you aware of them. The good news is, is once you set these up, you're pretty well finished. It might look a little overwhelming, but we do give you a lot of flexibility on how to use this software. Almost every company is completely different, believe it or not.
but we probably give you more flexibility than any other app out there. So that concludes this video on setting up mobile users, basic security and settings. I'll see you in the next one.